Hello guys, in this video we're going to take a look at how to use ray casting in UE4 in C++. Ray casting is used for, for example, making a gun shoot and aim. Right, so this is a continuation of the previous video called how to communicate between classes with the casting in Unreal Engine C++. So if you want to, you can go ahead and check that uh, video out before you continue with this video tutorial or you can simply create a third person C++ UE4 project from scratch and uh, and continue from there all right so this is started we're gonna create a simple ray cast so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a action mapping which allows us to actually perform the ray cast all right so go up to edit and project settings and click on input and we're going to define a new action mapping right here. So click the plus sign and we can name this Raycast. And we want this action mapping to fire when we click the left mouse button. All right. So that's it for the action mappings. I'm just going to go ahead and open up Visual Studio. Uh, open up third person character.cpp and third person character header file. Then let's go down to the protected, and here we can add the function raycast. So let's just name it raycast and make it a void. Right click, quick actions and refactorings, and create definition. All right. So now we actually got the raycast function right here. So before we actually do anything with the raycast, we're gonna make this function fire as well. And to do that, we're gonna create a bind axis, uh, oh sorry, bind action function in the setup player input component function. So go down right below this uh, axis here, look up rate look up rate and we're gonna define uh, we're gonna say player input component and we're gonna use the bind action function and the function is called raycast and this function should be called when this uh, binding is pressed so when the left mouse button is pressed and then this to refer to the class we're in. And then a third person character. And the function name, which we named Raycast. All right. Uh, oh, that's not supposed to be caps lock. It's supposed to be like that, IE pressed. All right, so that's that's the actual uh, binding to the raycast function. Now, before we program the raycast, we're gonna include a library as well. So include, oops, uh, a library called draw debug helper, draw debug helpers, which we're gonna use to draw a deb debug line for the actual raycast. So let's go down here to the raycast function. And we're gonna start by defining a struct called f hit result. We can name this out hit. This struct is gonna contain some data about the component or actor we hit with our raycast. Then we're gonna define an f vector, which we can name start. And this is a start point for the actual raycast. And we want the start point to be follow ca camera get component location. And then we also need the forward vector for the fo follow camera follow camera so we know which way is forward for the raycast. So follow camera get forward vector all right 
we're gonna say start equals with start plus forward vector multiply with camera boom get sorry target arm length all right so this is gonna be the start point of the raycast and we want this to be started in front of our character because we don't want to shoot the character right if the raycast would start back here where the follow camera is and we're actually shooting ourselves that wouldn't be very good so we want the, the length of this arm right here and we're gonna use the starting point the the length uh, as a starting point so we're shooting from basically the stomach of uh, our character all right then we're gonna define the length of uh, the ray cost can name this end so f vector and equals with start and then let's say forward vector multiplied with uh, 5000 which is a float all right i'm gonna use something called f let's see if we can get that one here f collision query params there we go let's name this something more simple collision params and to the collision params struct we're gonna add add ignored actor which is gonna be this actor so we're doing that just to make sure that we're not shooting ourselves with a ray cost even though we're using the target arm length as a starting point all right because it might be you have some settings where the target arm length uh, changes its itself and the character runs away from the camera or something like that so it's always good to ignore the actual character as well all right and then to try it out we're going to use the draw debug line function and we're going to say get world and then start point so start and end we can give it a green color a false and one zero one all right so this will simply just draw the, the bug line. I won't go through what all of these parameters are because all you have to know is this will draw an actual the bug line for the uh, sorry for the ray cost, right? So now let's try and compile this and uh, see if we can actually make the ray cost fire and just get uh, the bug line drawn and it compiled successfully so let's hit play and if we press the left mouse button you can see a ray cost is being created here and it basically goes from the stomach here you can see from the character right so now all we have to do is uh, get the actual component or actor that it hit and then we're just gonna destroy it so we're gonna create a boo name it uh, is hit equals with get world Uh, then we're gonna use the function line uh, trace single by channel and the parameters for this is gonna be or the argument is gonna be out hit start and and then a channel which is basically used for what uh, components we can hit and not hit we're gonna use ECC visibility for that and then we're gonna pass in the collision params as well All right. Uh, out it. So then we can simply say since is it is a boo, we can say if 
if is hit and then we can use out hit uh, dot get actor and then destroy all right so as i said the out hit contains some data about the component to actor we we hit with the raycast so if we hit something then we're going to use the out hit struct access the actor of what we hit and then call the destroy function on the actor all right so the actor that we hit will simply disappear all right so let's compile that and see if it works and press play and let's see if we can yeah so now you can shoot yeah as you see anything and it will disappear all right so you have to try it out you can uh, uh, duplicate this by ctrlc and then ctrl ctrlv and let's do that for a couple of boxes here and then we can simply just try shooting these boxes and you can see the ray cast is being drawn and the boxes do disappear so that's how you create a ray cast in ue4 and c++ you can use this for, for example, weapons. If, if you create a ve weapon, the most common case is to use an actual ray cast. And you can use it for a bunch of things like uh, determining what the player is looking at and so on and so on. All right. So I hope you learned something and thank you. Bye bye.